mice out. Welcome back to my channel, guys. For those of you who are new here, my name is Stav, and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. I'm so glad you're here today because we're gonna be talking all about pepper spray that you can use when you're running or walking, and just show you some ways that you can carry it to make it less of a hassle and easier for you to do. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a pepper spray giveaway. So follow me at She Equips Herself on Instagram so you can be a part of that. Did you steal my sneaker? Can I have that back, please? <laughs> Thank you. You want to go for a walk? Want to go for a walk? started and I show you the different types of pepper spray and things you can carry them in I want to talk about why it's important to carry pepper spray I've received comments in the past asking why would you carry pepper spray if you carry a gun and I've mentioned this before but you want to have more than one tool to be able to respond so many to different types of situations because if your only tool is a gun maybe the situation that you're in does not warrant lethal force legally and you don't want to get yourself in legal trouble just because you didn't arm yourself with a variety of different tools and that doesn't mean that you need to carry a million things but if you have a less than lethal option and a lethal option then that's going to make you a lot better off than if you just had a lethal option and if you're going to carry just one i recommend the pepper spray because you're more likely to be assaulted than you are for someone to try to kill you i like to carry both but if you only want to carry one carry pepper spray maybe you're not comfortable with guns yet and that's totally fine but pepper spray is something that's really easy to carry around and it can deal with many different situations for example i've got this little girl here who's teething and if i take her for a walk say we go in the woods or we go to a park or something can you stop eating my hair? If there's like a loose dog or something, she's a little girl, you know? And if she gets attacked by a dog or a loose dog comes and tries to attack me, I would want a way to deal with that. Do you have a plan in place for if you're walking with your kids or your dog? Thank you. Do you have a plan in place for if you're walking with your kids or your dog and there's a loose dog that comes running at you? How are you going to deal with that? Pepper spray is a great way to deal with that and I'm going to link some videos below that you guys can watch to show just how these situations can occur. I have a lot of friends with young kids and I do wonder like do you have a way to deal with something like that if you're walking your kids around the neighborhood and a loose dog comes running at your child and tries to attack them what do you do? So carry pepper spray right Mila? Mila says to carry pepper spray. Do it. Just do it. Besides the dog attacks or the coyote attacks or rabid animal attacks, there's obviously the threat of someone attacking you while you're running and there's nothing, no, I shouldn't say nothing, but there are a few things that peeve me more than those stories about women who are running and they get attacked or murdered and it just annoys me because I'm not saying they could have all saved themselves, but if they had some sort of tool, even pepper spray, which is so easy to get and so easy to carry, they might have at least had a chance. So just carry it because I don't want to see you on the news. I don't. I want to see you running down the street nice and safe with your pepper spray. So just a gun is not enough. You don't want to end up in jail because you responded incorrectly. You want to at least give yourself the tools to be able to respond appropriately to a situation. Mm. It's iced coffee season. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the type of pepper spray you're carrying. It's awkward when someone just walks by. Okay, just gonna move past that. All right, so one of the most important things when you're thinking about a pepper spray to take with you on a walk or a run is accessibility. You don't want it to be somewhere where you can't get to it fast. So there are a few different ways that you can make your pepper spray accessible. One thing I really love about the Palm Pepper Spray is this little clip that's attached to it. You can clip it right to the waistband of your pants. You can clip it to an armband that you're using to hold your phone. I was going to say your iPod, but that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> and just have it right there as well. So this clip gives you a lot of different options on how you can carry it. I could also, if I wanted to, just clip it right here. 
So I really like that about the palm pepper spray. Another thing you can do with pepper spray is get something like this, and this is made by the brand Mace. It's a hand strap, so you put it on your hand like this, and then you can put your pepper spray in it, like so. Try not to spray yourself in the face, that wouldn't be fun. So like with the palm, I can just put the clip right over it. And that way, you can face it in a way where it's in your hand and ready to go. So if I needed to deploy it, all I have to do is just move my thumb to the trigger and push down. But while you're running, it's in your hand the whole time, just like that. So something like this makes it really easy to just run with the pepper spray in your hand and not have to worry about holding anything. This is the one that actually came with this strap. So if I take the palm out, it's nice because you can reuse the strap for different sprays. I can put this spray in here and I love this trigger system as well. And this has the same thing, it's got a little hood with a red button and you press that down and that's how you deploy the pepper spray. This also has a little finger groove so I like that and that's how that goes. This is made by the brand Sabre. Sabre, <laughs> the office reference. Um, okay, so this is made by Sabre. It has Velcro on it. You put your pepper spray right inside this little pouch and it has these little reflective strips on it that help when running because you want to be seen and visible. And then it's got an armband that you stick it to. You strap it to your arm, the strap right up on your arm. You can tighten it if you want to. And then you've got your pepper spray right there. So if you needed to deploy it, you could just grab it and deploy it like that. So I do like how big this pepper spray is because if you can get more pepper spray but still have it be small enough that you can carry it, that's always best. More is best. And I will link all these below so you guys can check them out and see if you want to buy any of them. I also have a discount code for Palm Pepper Spray. I will also link that below because I love their pepper sprays. I think they're really great. So you want it to be accessible. You want it to be something that you can get too fast. Whether it's on the waist of your pants or on an armband or right in your hand just like this. This I think is ideal because that's about as fast as you can be. I've mentioned this before but stay away from these triggers that you have to twist to unlock and then press down. It's just not a reliable movement for your hand. You might twist the whole thing and spray that way when you want to spray that way. Stay away from the twisting triggers. And don't just think you need to carry pepper spray when you're by yourself. It's important to carry it when you're out and about in general because the dog attacks happen. Things happen and it's not just when you're alone. So it's just important to think about these things and also Make sure you're mentally prepared to use it and that comes with thinking through situations that might happen and coming up with a plan so that if you do have a dog running at you trying to attack you, you have a plan in your mind of what you're gonna do. You're gonna spray that dog and you're gonna get out of there. And if you've never heard of the OODA loop, Google it because it's the way that your brain works to make decisions and it really helps in understanding how we can put ourselves in a better position to be prepared for situations. And if you like, I would do a whole video on that topic because I think it's super interesting. Just make sure that you're mentally prepared to use your pepper spray so you don't freeze up if you ever need to. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful day. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can be part of that giveaway so you could win a palm pepper spray. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video because it really helps to support my channel. Leave a comment below and let me know what type of pepper spray you like to carry when you run. I'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!